Sure, I would love to. Hi, good afternoon. Very good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How about you? Yeah, thank you so much for asking. I'm pretty good. As usual, fantastic. Everything is going good. Yeah. That's great. So, so, mm -hmm. We are connecting for the very first time. So, please introduce yourself. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. So, yeah, hello. I am Yasmin Kermit. I'm basically from Bihar. And I'm working as a teacher by profession. And apart from this, I'm running a YouTube channel. And if I talk about my hobbies, so I love to read self-help books and talk with the people about mindset and self -help. That's all about me. Okay, great to hear. Yes, so let me introduce myself. Yeah, I am Priyanka and I'm connected with you from Uttar Pradesh. If I talk about my district, my district is Uttar Pradesh, sorry, Merit. And yeah, if I talk about my qualification, I have done BSc and then I have done two year teaching diploma. And currently wow. I'm running my YouTube channel, small YouTube channel. If I talk about my hobbies, I love reading books and uh, connecting to people, interact with people because of learning purpose. Yeah, nowadays. And I'm learning this beautiful language since four months. Yeah. That's great. That's great introduction. So what kind of book do you like to read? Book? Are you asking about book? Yeah. Actually, I recently started reading Atomic Habit. Okay, well, that's great. I also started my journey of reading books from this book. Atomic Habits. That's really wonderful. Yeah, I have read that book. Okay, so can you say with me experience? I I just started. Actually, yeah, my experience was quite tremendous when I started reading the book. I have learned a lot of things about the habits, how does it work, how can it build us, you know, every day when you try to work on yourself. So at the end of the year, you will get and you will get a tremendous changes in yourself, in your being as well, right? So mm -hmm. when you start reading, you will get to know that there, there are lots of and there are lots of areas in our life where we are not working. We don't even care about the things. But once you start reading the book, you will be able to know how does it work and how can we implement in our life as well. Mm -hmm. That's a really amazing book. If you want to create, build a new habit and break bad ones, really helps a book for everyone. Yeah, that is why I chose the book. Hmm. Um, hey, I have come up with some interesting um, questions. Yeah. So, I Hmm. Okay, so the, my first question is that where do you want to see yourself two years or five years later? Five years. I want to see myself as a successful woman, <laughs> like a, I'm running YouTube channel and I, I want to put command in my communication skill and, and I want to get fluency in this language within a one or two years. So I'm and I'm working there, yeah. And I wanna find a good job. Yeah, it will take time because in teaching field there is no any vacancy. But it after two or three years, definitely I will find a good job. And definitely I am working on my communication skill as well as spoken English. So definitely I will achieve my goals. I hope. Definitely you would you would because as I can say. There are lots of person who doesn't even know where do I want to go. But mm -hmm. as you are, you know, you already know what I, what do I want for my life. So that's really tremendous, I can say. Yeah, if it's you have a goal, I mean, if you set a goal, we want to achieve that particular goal so we can achieve easily. So if we are putting efforts. Exactly, because if we have, if you already know where do I want to go, it's really make our life easier, our path easier as well. But if you don't know, we just keep on saying, I want to do something, I want to do something, except doing something, except knowing what I want. So I think mm. we can never reach it in our life. Yeah. That's okay. So the my second question is that, what makes you feel sad? Would you repeat? 
What makes you feel sad? Sad. What makes me feel sad? Actually, when someone I hate liars. So when someone people lie to me, this kind of thing I really don't like. So that time I feel sad. Why? I don't know why most of people want to lie to you every time. So because I don't like this such kind of thing. So that is why I feel sad. Okay. We actually accept people nature. Everyone are both same. Nature, we can't change. Yeah, this such yeah. kind of thing we can't change. Hmm. That's true. Now, my second uh, third question is like, what is your biggest investment that you invested on yourself? Biggest investment? Hmm. There is nothing. I'm um, just. I think uh, after achieve my goals, it will biggest. Uh, investment for me i'm i'm learning since childhood so many things i have learned but there is nothing the biggest hmm. you might have like you might have um uh, joined any city or anything that you have to invest from yourself it's with respect to money i think so yeah okay okay so yeah so the my uh fifth question is that what is your guilty pleasure? What's my sorry, dear? Your voice is a bit slowly. So that okay. is why it's your point. What is your guilty pleasure? What's my guilty pleasure? It means like the things that make you feel happy, but after a couple of time, you feel regret about all that things. Okay, what kind of things makes me happy? Are you asking in this context? No, like I can say this. I'm going to give you one example. Like this is we are used to watch a lot of reels, right? We have, I can say it has been our tendency. But after that, we feel regret. I have wasted my lots of time. So that's a guilty pleasure, right? In initial time, it gives us the happiness. But after a couple of time, when we see now I have invested my time, so that makes me feel like guilty. So what, according to you, what is the guilty pleasure? Yeah, sometimes like I can distract you because of social media. If I want to go or like watching some kind of listening practice, that time I can distract you. So after after thirty minutes. 40 minutes, I feel regret why I'm watching this such kind of content. It's not helpful for me. So I have to choose convenient con content for me that will help me for learning. So that is why sometimes I feel such kind of things. Okay, that's so if you have this happening with everyone, the these days we are so used to work on social media. A, even if you don't want to watch the events and videos but still when we I can say go on the YouTube channel and Instagram at least we waste our like one to two hours. It, it's happening a day. It's happening with everyone. Hmm, that is why I'm not using Insta because we can find out every kind of content on YouTube. Everything is available on YouTube. We can find it easily. So but after upcoming days, I will start my Instagram because there we can upload short videos too. So that is why I will start. They are uploading some English related content. That is why I will make my ID. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I want to ask you since when you are learning this language? Actually, I started my journey in 2021, but at the end of the 2021, I can say. But finally, I think in 2021, the month was December. So in that month, I was just searching how do I start. But finally, I started in 2022. Okay. So, yeah, 22 to 24, it's still going on. Hmm. So, as you you are a teacher? I teach online as well as offline. So where you are teaching in school, institution and college, where are you teaching? Actually, I teach at my home. 
It's like a tuition site in San Jose at home as well as I'm teaching online. Okay, online you are teaching or you are taking online sessions. So, what's your major? It's like uh, I teach about spoken English, how to build the confidence, how to work on the communication skill, how to enhance and how to work on some designation habitations. So overall, I'm working the personality on human beings. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. so such kind of content you are uploading there on YouTube? Actually, these days I'm just uploading about the conversation videos on YouTube channel. Except it, I was uploading, but these days I think I'm not able to get much time. But now finally, I'm just trying to, from now on, I'm trying to upload such kinds of content on my channel. So as you told me, you are a personality trainer and teacher. So about me, where I have to improve? Actually, first of all, uh, I'm not saying about you for every individual. The most, what is the most important in our life is communication skills. It is the most, I'm not saying about uh, uh, the, if it, it will work in not only in your profession, it will work in your relationship, whatever you're doing, right? Even if you are doing business, job, or anywhere, if you don't know how to convince to others, how to talk with others. So I think we can use lots of people to move in our life. Yeah, I agree with you. If you have a good, good communication skill, you can connect easily, even you are a teacher, whatever you are, you are working professional, so you can communicate easily if your communication skill is good. Yeah. So what do you think about, like, do you have any idea about the communication skill? What is the most important thing for being a good communicator? Communication skill, actually, I am a kind of introvert person. So nowadays, I'm trying to be an ambivert person because actually some of times, sometimes I, my mind goes blank. At that time, I can't think how to, how, what kind of question I have to ask and what kind of question should ask to anyone. So that time I feel, so I have to work on this particular Okay, so yeah, it's happened with me. Actually, it's not that just me, I could say there is nothing like that. If you say I'm into what person, so I, I can never be a good communicator. I think there's no any relation like that. Even I'm also an introvert person, I can say, but it doesn't matter. But the thing is that we should know how to communicate with others. There's some sort of tips I can say that can help us. So if I say I'm an, I am an introvert person, so I can't be a good communicator, it is completely wrong. I can't say like that. But I think that we should have to have some tips, right? Like, uh, I'm going to give you one suggestion. This is thing like, while I'm talking with someone, so I get stuck. What kinds of questions should I ask, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think we should try to ask the open-ended question while we are talking with anyone. Like, I'm mm -hmm. going to give you one example. Like you have told me that you like to read self help book, right? So I ask you with open ended question. Like I asked you after that, what kinds of book do you like? Right? So mm -hmm. from the question, I ask the question, right? So when you are talking with someone, if the person is saying, I, I this is my hobby, I love to read books, yeah, I love to play football. So in that, you know, in that question, you have to make another question. Why do you like to read books? Mm -hmm. What is your so, like yeah. much you can interest in conversation. Mm -hmm. Counter question you can put easily. Yeah, we can make great conversation if you want asking a counter question. Hmm. Exactly. So, do you have any other questions? Yes, yeah, so apart from speaking practice, what what actually you are doing, listening practice, writing, and what else? Actually, to be honest with this is, I'm not able to give that much time for my speaking, I can say. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because I'm not really, except I love to watch the video. I love to watch the text videos, podcast video. So, I just keep on watching the video, and while I'm teaching to my students, so mostly I speak in English language. So I can say likewise while I'm teaching, so I'm able to do practice as well. Yeah, speaking practice, you have, and you can speak there easily. Yeah. Mm. So while yeah. 
for writing practice we are not doing any kind of writing practice no, no, I'm not doing. Even when I started learning this language, I had never done any written writing practice. I never. I always prefer to listening, speaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, listening and yeah, through listening you can find out what the correct pronunciation of any particular word. And speaking, you can practice which learn which words you have learned. You can practice while speaking. So it really both are important hmm, like we can say aspects both are really helpful for your English. Yeah, if you are not doing any kind of writing practice, so you can easily speaking and listening practice both are really significant for learning this language. Yeah, we can easily learn. Hmm. So what do you do? I mean, what did you change for the English language or your fluency as well? Reading and listening practice I'm doing because I don't have time for writing practice sometimes. In evening time, I do study uh, for like uh, I'm preparing for uh, jobs and I'm teaching recently at the school. So, uh, firstly, I have to read what uh, I want to teach next day. So, I don't have time for writing practice, but sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can write my daily routine and some topics I can write whenever I got that. Okay. okay. So, so I think last 43 days. It's already it's been around 20 minutes. So, can you one of the session? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for it was nice conversation with you and thank you so much for your time. Keep learning yeah, and you. Okay. Okay, bye. Thank you. Great time. Bye.